Meghan Markle could choose to put an end to one royal tradition at Archie's christening service to include some aspects of her own heritage, former royal butler Grand Harold suggested. Meghan Markle may choose to part with royal tradition to have her son embrace her heritage when he is christened in Windsor on Saturday. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor is expected to wear the traditional Honiton christening robe members of the royal family have been wearing for centuries, but former royal butler Grant Harold suggested the boy could sport a different outfit at the service. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr. Harold said, I think it's possible that christening gown may certainly be used again but then Meghan may have her own christening gown that means something to her. It will be interesting to see if they stick to these kinds of traditions. Baby Archie would be the first member of the royal family to forego the traditional christening gown, as the family has been using the original robe and its replica for more than 150 years. Mr. Harold continued, the christening gown, it's actually a replica from Victoria's christening gown she used for her children. I believe it was Prince Edward's son and to have a newer one created because the other one became too fragile and that has been used in recent years for all royal christenings. Queen Victoria had the robe commissioned in 1841 following the birth of her eldest daughter, Victoria Adelaide Mary Louisa, who later became Queen Consort of Prussia and whose children did not use the gown. Since its creation, the christening gown has been passed down from generation to generation and was later donned by the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry. The original version was last used in 2004 at the christening of Lady Louise Windsor, the monarch's youngest granddaughter, before being retired. Younger generations have been using a replica of the robe, including Archie's cousins Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. The latest member of the family to have worn it is believed to have been Lena Tyndall, second daughter to Zara and Mike Tyndall, in 2019. Archie's christening service is however not expected to completely break with tradition as water from the River Jordan will still be used to fill the baptismal font at St. George's Chapel. The practice is followed because the river is where Jesus is said to have been christened by John the Baptist. When Princess Charlotte was baptized, her father Prince William personally picked up the water himself. All royal babies are christened in the Lily Font Bowl, an exquisite silver gilt font used by the royal family since 1840. The gilded silver font, which weighs 21 pounds, was also commissioned by Queen Victoria and Prince Albert ahead of the birth of their first child. Meghan and Harry are also believed to have picked the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, oversee the ceremony as he did for their niece Charlotte and nephews George and Louis before. While the ceremony will be small, several senior members of the royal family are expected to travel to Windsor to attend the service. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will be at St. George's Chapel alongside Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. The exclusive venue, right inside Windsor Castle, means members of the public will not get to see Little Archie arrive and leave the church as many had hoped they would. The decision has sparked controversy, as it follows revelations that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex used £2.4 million in taxpayers' money to fund the renovation of their home, Frogmore Cottage. Archie's baptism however is not the first time a royal christening caused some tension as in 1985 Prince Harry's own ceremony was also incredibly controversial. A private row simmering inside the royal family came into the open when Princess Anes nubbed Prince Charles and Princess Diana by refusing to attend Prince Harry's christening at Windsor Castle. According to a 1984 report by the Daily Express, Princess Anne went game shooting with then-husband Mark Phillips on their Gatacon Park estate in Gloucestershire instead. Buckingham Palace said in a statement after the ceremony, unfortunately neither of them could make it. They will be arriving in Windsor later in the day. 